boats were nearly there. <laughs> Amelia Chasey's yard. We're going to see the van fully painted for the first time. Now, I've seen parts that have been painted. We've also been down here helping. Not as much as Jason would have liked, but I have been down here. He's going to tell me I've been so late today, but such is life. Let's see the van. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Good. Right, update. We've been having a right ball ache with my van. All the bottom of the doors of mine are rotten as we've cleaned the doors up. Bits have been falling off, so we've taken that door off. Same round this side. That door's gone, so they're down with my van. Uh, side door, my side door is actually all right, so that's good. Uh, lots of other parts in here where we've been stripping bits off. Big problem today is my boot is also not good. So I've got to get that off. But of course, this is in a non-running state. There's all bits missing off the engine. And the boot is in the hedge and off a ledge. So I need to pull this thing forward up to the back of the 928. I'm working on the fuel system on that. I'm gonna pull this forward so I can get the boot off of that without breaking my neck. So I've got a winch in the garage. I'm gonna run the winch all the way down here to that and see if I can pull this forward. None of which is helped by the fact that I'm putting new fences up around the garden as well. And my carriage is absolutely filled with bongo. Uh, my winch connection is down there. I need to put all my tools away. So I'm gonna hook the winch up on there, see how far out the chain comes, and then I guess I'm gonna find my straps, which are all about the place in here somewhere. I'm in such a mess, this is ridiculous. And then run the winch all the way down to the van. Right, that's out, gets us halfway there. Well, a third of the way there. And move that battery before you get zinged with the metal cable. I'll put it over here, next to some flammable stuff. Oh yeah, that's good. Right, let's carry on stretching this cable out. Right, neutral, handbrake off. That's on there. Got a nice long one here, squeezing past the Porsche, I'm sure that's sensible. All the way up to the house, across there, across all my timber. We'll watch our lack go everywhere and up to the winch. Right, I need a battery. I'll use this little one here. Yeah. If this hasn't got the guts in it, it's, this has pulled the Porsche before. So if this battery hasn't got the guts in it, then I'll just use the Porsche battery. Uh, positive. Boop. And I'll just put on the negative. Boop. I got the little controller here. Right, the van is all the way down there. Uh, oh, clutch. Uh, right, I've tightened the clutch. Like that. Right. Let's move these. Is the van gonna move? I should really put you on a stand down there next to the van. The camera fell over. There! It's done! Evil genius! Right, 
I can access all this now. Cool. Right. Time to get the boot lid off. So doors off the scrap van. That's my back door. That's my side door. This is my bumper, and this bumper's better than the one on the scrap van. Uh, it's not good though. There are bollies down. Holes where I crashed into a wall. Uh, various rub marks and dings and bits where it's come through. I'll get the grinder on those, get rid of that. Uh, on with the rubbing. Right, these behind the rear arches are looking a bit sad. Very typical bongo problem as is that in there. So uh, I'm just going to do this best I can. I'm going to cut along here. This is part of the new um, arch I was put in. I say new arch, we've done five years ago. Cut down there, down there and around there. Make up this piece, trying to retain that. Uh, and then I'll do the same on the back. It looks pretty solid for part of it, so hopefully it's not going to be too bad. So that's all cut off. That's one of the pieces I've cut off. This is the important one to make. So I'm gonna just place it on there. I've hammered that flat, that bends over. I'm gonna draw around it and cut the shape out. Right, that's my doodle. We go through the van here. Yeah. Oh. That's where all the noise is coming from. Ugh. Right, cut this, fix that. like welding tissue paper. So I'll bend this around now, we'll get that in line, we'll drill the hole when we need to. Uh, I need to shape this in and just carry on. Right, started cleaning up in here. I gotta get that shiny so I can weld it. A bit of paper aid the design in here now to draw this closing piece. Uh, it's a bit of triangle bent down there. A bit join on there, and I'm gonna tidy that up there. And this is why I'm not a mechanic for a living. Rubbing down in process. There's a lot of rubbing down. Look, up on the roof. Bye, Jess. He's really happy up there, look. Yeah, Best there. day of his life ever. Corners all welded in, and that one still all done and welded in. <laughs> Dusty, Achvi. The van has got a case of the pimples, finding every rust spot. Oh, that's not the colour it's going. That was a test. Dinner break. Anybody else like cold hot dogs? I know it's a microwave, can't be bothered with that. Hot dogs, meatballs, mm. and a coffee. This is getting very exciting. Look at this. So many dinks and bumps and everything taken out of it. Even, even the roof is looking like a tidy roof. Still a bit more work to do up there. I can't believe the amount of work he's putting in this for me. 
It is going to look amazing. And here is a sneak peek of what's going on. Just looks nice and black. Let me go get a light. Ooh, stuff everywhere. It's like my garage. There we go. There's the bumper all rubbed down. Can't see all the marks in it where I crashed it into a wall or where I crashed it into the side of the Porsche. Uh, get this light on. Look at that. Let me try and put it behind the sparkler. And then in here, we have got the insides of the doors done again. So it looks pretty black, like quite a deep blacky green until the light hits it. Look at that. <laughs> go on, in you go. Oh, I was expecting you to dive in. Yeah, dive in, there, dive in through guys. it, like on gladiators. You're <laughs> <laughs> showing your age now, dude. <laughs> right. I'm not impressed, Jace. It's from the dust. No, the inside of the van still looks shit. <laughs> Look at that. It is gutted. This, this paint job is going to make the interior look absolutely awful. <laughs> right, the mystery of what shit did we put in the box is starting to unwrap. Yeah, it's a mystery, big old mystery box because Jace is clever and he wrote on all the stuff that he took apart and I'm dull as, let's just say dull. And I just lobbed mine in there. So some of it is going to be easy to put back together. Some of it's going to be a nightmare. I'm just going to blame Jason, even though it's all my fault. Uh, there's bits in the boot. We've got stuff out here painted. This might be in black and white because I'm not showing you the colour yet. You can see it's a dark colour, but that's all we're saying. Uh, that's not my engine. Not my Jag. Not my monkey bike, but I wish it was. Right, let's have a go in here, the magic room. And again, this may be in black and white, because I don't want you guys to see the colour, but it's all been painted in here. All up the jams. The sides of the van haven't been painted yet. The roof has been painted all in there. You know, this this was meant to be a 500 quid blow over of the bottom half and uh, things have got a bit out of hand. Uh, but <laughs> I am so excited. So, so excited. Uh, I'm not getting close enough for you guys to see the colour. Oh, you, you can definitely see it there. This is definitely going to be black and white. I'm hiding it until, I don't know, I guess we do a reveal. Right, that's enough dilly-dallying for me. Let's go out here and start working on this jigsaw puzzle. So these are the bottoms of my old doors, and that's why we pinched them off the other van. Totally gone with that. All right, that's the two doors on. Sliding door next, so we've got to get the runner on. That's got to be done from inside. Do we have the bolts on the inside? You're ready for your... All right, so we're going into the depths of the van. Gladiators. Oh, right. And so look, they clip in there somewhere. Oh, it's like the frighteners. Right, let's put that down. There. Right then, where do these bolts come through, James? Ah, I see, I see them. Um, is it only the three? No, the four on it, there's another one there. Right, there we are. Uh, uh, be reborn! 
That's not a rhinoceros. <laughs> Press record, take back off, Jess. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Slowly becoming a van again. Right, everything back on. Ready for the sides and the front and the back to be painted. So there it is, it hasn't been mopped yet. So you will see there's some orange peel going on, um, but that's because we have got to mop it. Now I don't know how much you can see on here. It is sparkly. Now, I don't know if you all remember, the van was all rusty down here. The roof, there's a bird poop on it, great. It all needs mopping and cleaning and polishing, but the roof was all dented, rust and, and wrecked. Uh, down here we had a rust hole and all this was all rusty. We had the arches stitched on, so that's all been done and tidied up. Uh, that's the patch of welding that uh, I put in there. So it's had these corners done. We missed one little rust hole there. All the back is done, that's the inside of the van for me to sort out. Uh, what else did we have? Uh, this side was all rippled and dinged because there was a dent there where I crashed a Porsche into it. There was a hole here, so the sills have been done pretty much both sides. So you can see me in there, but the plan now is to mop this back on the driveway. Uh, that's all the front. That's all done and sparkly. So all the welding underneath has been done. All the rust and rot has been cut out and sorted out. It's all been painted properly. Let's open the door, just pull the wire. They're all painted in the door jams. Remember all the rust that was running down here? That's all been done. All the steps are done and blown in. It has had 
An absolute proper job. Here we've got the bumpers. Look how sparkly that looks. I can't tell if this is showing up in the video because the sun is on my screen. But look at all that. It is looking mint. A little run mark there needs to be cut back and another one over there. This is the only major problem. I don't know if you can see it. This was covered in some horrible paint and it is cracking and spidering. So I need to get a new bumper. This one will be thrown away. Get a new one painted up. Well, that's a future problem. For now, the plan is, ooh, sexy bike. The plan is to get this back up in enough of a shape now that I can get it back to my driveway. So we're gonna put as minimum stuff on it as possible, get it back to the drive. Uh, and then I can start just using it as it is. And then I'm gonna treat myself to something like a Ryobi battery mop and we'll just sit on a driveway, beers and burgers, and get it mopped. So I'm gonna put you on the, what do you call it? On a stand over there. And time lapse this and let's get it built back up. Right, to refit the bumpers, I have to have captured nuts in these plates, but what tends to happen is they rot out and they break, so we haven't got any in there. So I need one, two, three, I've got one in there, it's got to cut out four, and I'm missing one on the front. So what I'm going to do is, that's marked up on here, the size of them, I'm just going to cut these out, drill holes in the middle, and then I'm going to weld bolts through there and then we'll have our own captured nets. Side of them, so they uh, sit
Right, time to put front bumper on. I don't know if you can see how green the van is in this low sun. It is spectacularly green. So I can't see how well this is coming out on camera. It is very green. Right then, let's put this bumper on. I shot your ass, Jess. on a driveway it is looking awesome this new paint it just looks jet black with no sunlight on it but I quite like that that's the whole point it's meant to be a little bit subtle the new headlights the um, headlights and color coordinated grille all in black I think that really kind of modernizes the front of the van right next thing we're gonna do I gotta mop all this back we're gonna modify the uh, roof rack I want to get a light bar on there a few more little bits paint all these bits up so a little bit ago, uh, that'll be for another video, but we're getting there, so thanks so much for following on. I'll see you soon. <laughs>